All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to give all praise out of an hour. Y'all, Bashim, Mashak, Y'all, Shai. Bashim, Kakodash. Peace and blessings out of blood ones baptized into the new covenant for the remission of sins. And today I have Psalms 24 and 1, which this scripture was inspired through the Spirit. When I was watching the brother Akawar earlier just now, uh, the brother just was going in and he was talking about uh, basically, you know, everything is the Lord's. The brother had said that. He said everything is the Lord's. Uh, even Israel, right, and what the other nations, man, right? The fullness of the, I think the brother said the fullness of the earth is the Lord's, which that's true, beloved ones. You know what I'm saying? Everything is the Lord's, man. The scriptures tell you um, all power in heaven and on earth is given unto me, man. You know, the fullness of the, of the earth. The scriptures tell you what? The God of the whole earth shall he be called, man. Right, which the Lord can't be called the God of the whole earth. All right, if the, and if we don't, if the nations don't ever uh, worship Him, man, and this is why what they're going to have to bow down and worship the Lord or perish, and that's prophecy, beloved ones. It's not my own, you know, out of my own heart or nothing like that. Because to be honest, beloved ones, you know, I I really don't have a, a, a lot of friends to be honest. All right especially like in the world, like in the world, I don't really have any friends and like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't even really deal with my family members, beloved ones, like, like my cousins and stuff like that. I, I see them every once in a while, but to be honest, man, the only people I really, I'm always uh, alone to be a lot, a lot. A lot of my life, I've been alone a lot, man. You know, because I'm always with the Lord, man. The Lord be having me like the Lord Yahweh Shah. And I just be like at the mountain, beloved ones, by myself, just praying all the damn time, man. Right, because um, uh, you know, uh, it's the Lord's will, man. You know what I'm saying? So, like I was saying, man, you know, I don't really deal with flesh and blood a lot, beloved ones, unless I'm what teaching this gospel. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm in my, my you know, my daily life, bro, you know, I'm just it's just me and Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, and the host of heaven, man, and my and my and my family. You know, my, my, uh, my wife, my two sons, and what, my mother and my dad, man. Other than that, I don't really deal with people in, in this realm, beloved ones, right? Which, which I don't have a problem with people, but for the most part, you know, everybody got to work out their own salvation, man. You know, I don't have Gentile uh, friends that I go kick it with or nothing like that, beloved ones, which I'm not, I don't have any hatred for the Gentiles at all. See that? I don't have to kick it with the Gentiles to, to, uh, to, to, uh, you know what I'm saying? To, to, to like them, right? Or, uh, to teach that they can be saved, all right? As, uh, servants of the Lord, right? So, you know, when, when the beloved is, you know, telling you, you know, that, that this gospel got to be pushed among the Gentiles, it's not because we, we, uh, love, uh, Gentile women, or you know, I, you only trying to get the Gentile women. I, <laughs> you know, it ain't got nothing to do with that, beloved ones. Cause what everything is the Lord's, man. You know, everybody who lives in this earth is of the is the Lord's, man. The scripture says, all souls are mine, man. Everybody's souls belong to the Lord, beloved one. Some people just what sell they soul to Satan, therefore they don't belong to the Lord, or they have sold themselves unto wickedness. Right. So, you know, this thing isn't about uh, nationality, beloved ones. This thing is about wickedness and righteousness, good versus evil. All right. Because at the end of the day, just being an Israelite alone can't save you. So this thing ain't just about being an Israelite, beloved ones. This thing is about righteousness versus wickedness, man. All right. Among all nations. All right. So the scripture says, Psalms 24 and 1, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it and the world and all who live in it, man. This whole thing is goes back. All this is the Lord's Yahweh Shai's. Everything you're looking at is the Lord Yahweh Shai's, man. It's all his. This is why what uh, the devil was fighting, fighting for a long time, man. All right. Because it, cause he wanted the, what, the beloved's glory, man. He know the beloved is glorified beyond measure. All right. So, hey, man, everything in, in the fullness of the earth is the Lord's, man. All right. 
We're not saying uh, the Gentiles uh, going to worship the Lord uh, in vain. Because clearly it's prophesied, beloved ones, that the Gentiles is going to come to hear the word of the Lord, man. All right? So if if we in the new covenant and that happens in the new covenant, all right, well, why are we, uh, all right, not, not uh, you know, opening ourselves up to what preach this word among all, all flesh, man? All right? The scripture says those that don't believe are going to be destroyed. All right? So just because you're an Israelite don't mean you're going to be, uh, you're going to make it. He said, whoever don't believe is going to be destroyed, man. So, yeah, the whole earth is all, it's all the Lord's beloved ones. He said the, uh, the animals, even in the book of Psalms, man, he said the animals and everything is his, man. It's all the Lord's beloved ones, all right? The animals, the damn plants, the trees, uh, you know what I'm saying? The, everything is the Lord's, the water, all right? The air, the sun, the moon. All right, Israel, the Gentiles, it's all the Lord, man. It's all the Lord's, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything is the Lord's, man. All the thick beloveds, all their souls, <laughs> the Lord have created, man. All right? <laughs> so, yeah, beloved ones, man, you know, to be honest, beloved ones, <clears throat> you know, I have no hatred towards the Gentile nations, man. And guess what? I don't even kick it with Gentile nations. I, do, I don't even kick it with my own uh, people, man. But I will what, preach the gospel to you. But I, I don't, we don't kick it heavy, man. You know, to be honest, I don't even really like to kick it with people too much unless unless it's, it's, unless we push a new covenant. Then we can, we can be on the same frequency. And that's why I'm always alone because my frequency is different than a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Even when I came into this new covenant... <clears throat> It was because what? I had a different frequency, man. I wasn't like the multitude, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doing the same damn thing, man. You know, the beloved is different, man. You know, and that's what that's how you do things that's that's not possible. You can do things that's uh, impossible when you're different, man. But when you're doing the same thing, you're going to get the same results, beloved ones. <laughs> All right? You keep doing the same thing, you will get the same results, beloved one. You read what you sow, man. All right, so, you know, the beloved, only what? <clears throat> Going to the Gentiles because what? That's that's what the Lord ordained, all right? The beloved's to do when we were scattered among the Gentiles, man. We're not in Jerusalem anymore, beloved ones. So to say just to teach only the Israelites, you're not in Jerusalem to know, all right, everybody's uh, lineage is like that, man. This is why you have to teach, really, this is why really we need to be, everybody need to be teaching under Paul, man, because ain't none of you niggas is in Jerusalem, man. So how can we say we of 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 the circumcision for real, man? <clears throat> your circumcision is only through your Shah, It's not through yourselves, beloved ones. This is how you know uh, this thing is not of ourselves. This is why a lot of people can't see the new covenant because they want to glorify themselves. No, I don't have the glorified body yet. Ak. You know what I'm saying? Everything belongs to the Lord, man. All right, so let's get to other scripture in Psalms where the Lord tell you, eat all the animals, the good food, all right, the cows, right, the vegan, the plant the plant diet, all that, brother, it, it all is the Lord's, man. <clears throat> you know, being able to grow uh, medicine out of the earth, it's all the Lord's, beloved ones. <clears throat> you know, the technology, you know, the knowledge and wisdom of the law, this new covenant, it is all... The beloveds, man. Everything is the Lord's, man. All right? Everything is the Lord's, man. <laughs> All right? And it's crazy, blood ones. While I'm doing this video, it's a freaking demonic fly keep trying to attack me. Because he know that what? He know that this, this, this is the truth, man. All right? The devil is pissed. That was the devil. Fucking fly, bro. Every time, man. When, when this gospel coming out beyond measure, them flies be popping up, man. So yeah, beloved ones, everything belongs to the Lord. Let's get another scripture to show you, you know, that uh, the earth is the Lord's. Everything in it and all who live and all who dwell lived in it, man. It's all Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai's. 
Hey, I got to get a couple more scriptures now. Do all of y'all buy ship y'all with Shai? He gave me two scriptures. All right, we're going to get the one in Psalms, and then I'm going to smack. And we're going to get the ones in Psalms about the Lord talking about everything is his, the food and all that. Then we want to get a, what's the other one? <laughs> Lord, where is that? Because you just gave it to me. I'm trying to think. Wicked one trying to take it out of me. What it says uh, in Psalms, you know, he said all the food is his. All right. It says Psalms 50 and 10. For every beast of the forest is mine. For what? For every beast of the forest is mine. And the cattle upon a thousand hills. Right? I know all... Hey, don't... Uh, Israelites call Gentiles beasts. Right? <laughs> I know all the fowls of the mountains. Right? But this is really talking about literal beasts though. But it says, I know all the fowls of the mountains and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine. For the what? For the world is mine. He's talking about this whole realm, beloved ones. Not just the world of Israel. All right? And the fullness thereof. And the what? The fullness thereof. Job chapter 12, verse 10. And whose hand is what? And what? And whose hand is the soul is the what is the soul of every living thing no just the israelites I, only the israelite foreigners brother just the israelite foreigners in whose hand is the soul of every living thing no i just the israelite foreigners in whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath in the what in the breath of all mankind so everything is the lord's beloved ones that's why everything has to return back unto him, man, and give him glory because everything is his, man. All right. Psalms 145 and 16. Thou openest thine hand and satisfieth the desire of every living thing, man. No, just the Israelite foreigners. Just the Israelite foreigners, brother. Thou openest thine hand. And satisfies the desire of every living thing, man. So every living thing is the Lord's beloved ones. All right. So uh, with that, man, Shalom.